cause human exposure to unusual industrial meats, the ramifications of which have yet to be completely investigated. Essentially, these are side effects. We are calling Kenyans to action by our presence today at this press conference. We urge you to oppose this nefarious act by this dangerous and unpopular regime. Pastoralists and other livestock owners have a responsibility to preserve their animals and livelihoods. Do not allow anyone to get near your animal <laughs> under pretense of vaccination. Our food sovereignty, and that's important, our food sovereignty and security are not subject to compromise. Our animals and people's health are equally important. Every Kenyan, therefore, as a responsibility to aggressively oppose this cruel goal. We ask all Kenyans to remain very vigilant. Do not allow any agent or official of the Ruto regime to come anywhere near Kenyan cattle with these vaccines. There will be no forced vaccination of animals in Kenya. We all remember stories of anthrax. If you are coming to vaccinate against anthrax and know the things we all know. We will resist by all constitutionally protected and guaranteed means. Lastly, ladies and gentlemen, we commend our Catholic bishops for calling out this rogue government on its unethical dealings with the people of Kenya that are corroding the basic core values that we cherish as a Kenyan people. Now, because of... Uh, this genetically modified approach, you can never plant the same seeds twice. Yeah, you plant once and then you have to wait. <laughs> and uh, we went to court, we instructed our learned uh, friend, Paul Mwangi, to go to court of that GMO thing. The course last few days, I think, uh, uh, um, uh, took a negative decision. We have instructed Paul Mwangi again to go on appeal because we must keep ourselves engaged on, on the welfare of our country uh, with the complications of shaf and shif. <laughs> yeah, sha and shif. 